who's created, whose unique avant-garde style, contagious charisma, irrefutable quality, and just downright good looks. Give you that metaphorical slap in the face, make you stop, take notice, and realize just how good a luxury home can be. Today I'm in San Lorenzo, the real heart of Ibiza, and from the Charles Marlowe Rental Collection, sit back and let me show you around. We've got some incredible outdoor spaces to show you in this villa and we will get all of that very soon, I promise you. But any tour has got to start by bringing you straight away into here, the main central hub of the home. Now those external shots would have shown you the distinct style this home has. The main structures have been created using poured concrete. It looks ultra distinct from the outside and when you come inside that feeling is not lost either. Above me all the ceilings and around me all the walls are pure and simple concrete. It looks incredible if you ask me. It has a faux industrial look to it, dare I say it, futuristic. This is a home for the lovers of a cutting edge design, that is for sure. To my left, we've got the main seating lounge area of the home. These low riding sunken sofas, ultra comfortable. They will point towards the brilliant views of the gardens that these floor to ceiling windows allow us to flood in. This whole room actually, is incredible for natural light. And quick mention to behind me here, we have this brilliant courtyard separating the living space from the bedrooms, which we'll get to just a moment down there, housing this incredibly ancient looking olive tree and a splash of color with the bougainvillea as well. Complements the harsh nature of the angular house really well, I think. Come with me this way. I'm gonna pass by the central black polished oak dining table got enough space there for myself and 11, 12 of my friends. This side of the room, we see a new addition to the house actually just installed over the last winter, this brilliant stone bar come serving area. If I take a step behind here, I've got a double fridge, a basin, coffee making facilities here, plenty of storage, but for your actual kitchen and cooking facilities, right here we have a professional setup kitchen that will be perfect for when you're entertaining friends or family, which this house is so beautifully set up to do. Okay, so kitchen, dining and living spaces here, very, very cool. And come down with me this way down the corridor, passing by this great picture of Mick and Keith, as I do. They would have had a lot of fun in this villa, I've got no doubt. So right here, there's a special secret door, something very cool in there, we'll get to that in just a moment. But first, onwards, down this Corridor, passing by the olive tree, I mentioned earlier, beautiful storage to my side, bespoke custom furniture everywhere I look. The great thing about this villa, there is no wasted space. Office space here, views out onto the front garden, beautiful air conditioning cooling me down. It is a hot day today. Let's go and take a look at the master bedroom right here. What we have in here is the largest of the six bedrooms that this villa has, and what a palatial principal bedroom it is. To my left, your right, immediately you're greeted to the ensuite section. So we have a double basin right here, a double shower. In fact, make that a triple shower if you want to include the one that's outside as well. And then discreetly tucked in the corner, I've got the loo. Central piece of the bedroom is right here, your walk-in closet. Absolutely enormous, opens and closes like that with tinted glass windows. There's a safe in the corner, you would have noticed. Follow me around this way, past this beautiful bespoke mirror, that's from Bali, I believe and into the main bedroom space. I've just passed by this brilliant freestanding steel bathtub. I love that. You'll notice, of course, throughout this bedroom, floor to ceiling windows, as we've seen in the main living spaces. So again, we're bringing the beautiful views of the garden into the bedroom. King size bed, front and center, gets a great view of those. Look at this detail in the corner, I love that. We've got underfloor heating throughout the house, of course, but if you wanna turn the coziness levels up to 10 in the winter months, why don't you chuck a few logs onto your hanging fireplace there from the ceiling, and boom, you've got your perfect year-round home as well. Again, similar stylings, that brilliant concrete that I love above me on the ceilings, 
here on the walls surrounds me. That industrial style is following me around the house. Come and do the same. Okay, so down this end of the villa, we've got three bedrooms. The master suite we've just seen and two guest bedrooms, one of which is just there and another one just here. Let's go and take a look at those and see what they look like. Again, in here, we see similar stylings and aesthetics to what we've seen elsewhere. Once again, king size bed, brilliant view of the garden, floor to ceiling windows, which of course open up to give me access to that terrace. Can't wait to take you outside in a minute. I do want to spend a bit of time in this ensuite bathroom. I think this is really cool. Huge shower with natural light coming through. Down this end of the room, a lot of use of natural wood colors for my basin and my loo. Okay, so back out onto this corridor that runs the length and breadth of the villa and back towards the incredible living spaces that we started the tour off at. Now I mentioned just a moment ago, there's something in here I wanted to show you. So allow me to open the door for you, descend the stairway and enter the villa's very own home cinema. You'll notice that these are the only steps. The rest of the villa is all on one flat level. That in itself is a pretty unique feature. And when it's all getting a bit too much for you outside, down here is where you can relax, stick on that film, let the kids chill out perhaps while the adults get up some good old fun and chatter upstairs. Let's have another look at this main living space again. I'm such a big fan of it. The sun has got a little bit stronger since we started filming. The light really is flooding through. I've got the second master bedroom down here. It's a great space, but rather than take you through there, I think it's time now to take you finally outside. And the first thing that greets me out here is this wonderfully spacious terrace. I'm underneath the fantastic bamboo veranda, offering some much needed shade on a day like today. I should also point out actually that these big French floor to ceiling doors do completely open up. If you want to open up the indoor area to the outdoor area, we want to preserve some of the precious air conditioning inside today. So we're not going to do that. But as you can see, lots of seating, similar style of furniture to what we've seen inside, all of the highest quality. Of course, a great place to relax and chill, overlook this garden. Let's take a close look at what we find down here. Well, the first thing to point out straight away, of course, is this huge, vast expanse of green grass, really refreshing. You don't often see that in these big villas, perfect for the kids to chuck a ball around or for you to throw that big party. When we get down here, I've got my 20 meter swimming pool to my right. Heated for the cooler winter months, should you need it. Plenty of seating for your friends and family to gaze on at you. And then if I walk this way, we get to yet more fantastic chill out space. Now I'm in the shade, A, provided from these magnificent carob trees right here, but also I'm underneath this beautiful timber veranda. Plenty of furniture for me to relax while I'm outside. The quality of the furniture does not diminish just because we're outside, by the way. This is all top quality stuff. If you come along this way, another carob tree here, overlooking my outdoor kitchen area. Plenty of space for drinks fridge, little washing machine, basin, so I can prepare some basic meals while I'm here. The people that are going to eat those meals are sat right here. This gorgeous oak outdoor dining table. There's space for 20 people around here, I would suggest. Little details. So we've got Bose speakers still. Electricity is obviously fed through to here, so this all lights up at night time. The party needn't ever stop. Okay, one of the things I really want to accentuate here is the size of the plot and the amount of space that you've got. So I've got this big garden right here, you can see a load more land over there behind the chill out spot. And actually that land takes you towards a fantastic gym, which is nearby the outdoor football pitch over there, in turn next to the two bedroom casita for guests over there. We probably will go and take a closer look at that in just a moment. But just going back to that gym quickly, it's a really beautiful modern space full of the latest techno gym equipment. The AstroTurf football pitch that I've just mentioned, the perfect place for the kids to let off a little bit more steam. And as I mentioned, this two bedroom guest casita to get a little bit of shut eye away from the rest of your guests should you need it. I will actually invite you over and take you a quick look at that now because it's a very, very cool space. So this is the two bedroom casita, remember? We'll just show you one of them because they're both quite similar. And what great spaces they are. I would be very happy at home in here for sure. 
Lovely bed, plenty of storage, terrace access and a couple of sides. Come through here, this door slides shut. If you want some extra privacy and your ensuite area, how about that for a shower? Don't think you see many bigger spaces than that. Basin here, the loo just tucked away around there as well. Like I said, we've got something similar next door, but I'm gonna crack on and finish off the tour back in the main house. Now I'm mindful that there was one other bedroom in the main house we didn't see first time round, so we'll do a very quick look at this one. And it is worth a look because I would call this the second master really. We're at the other end of the house from where the master is located. And you'll see similar stylings, access to the terrace of course, I just come straight in from there. Behind the bed is where I have an ensuite area which consists of a beautiful double basin, loo, shower, and plenty of closet space for all of your clothes. Six outstanding bedrooms, a beautiful large countryside plot, a gym, a cinema, a massive swimming pool, a football field. Is this the coolest house in Ibiza? Evidence around me suggests that it probably is. And this could be yours for a week or two. As I mentioned, available for rent through Charles Marlowe. Get in touch with us for more details of how we can make that happen. I'm gonna leave you with a few more shots of this exquisite home. I have other places to be. Next property tour coming soon. I look forward to seeing you then. Bye for now.